This next video is going to be very, very short, and all we're going to do is add the most important thing probably to our database, and that's encryption on the uh, password field. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a complicated process because it's going to stop your program from working first of all, but once we've got it working, we'll show you how exactly you can put it back together again. First of all, in Login User, what I'd like you to add in the, under Using is system.security.cryptography. We're going to do something to do something called cryptography or code making. And what we're going to do is write out this piece of code here, which is called hash password, hash PW. We're going to have a um, three letter password, okay, a three letter, sorry, a three letter sort as it's called. Which what we're going to do is uh, we're going to um, take some bits of the uh, sorts, which are just three letters that we're going to put in, and we're then going to sprinkle them within the actual password itself, and then we're going to create or turn that into a code which cannot be turned back into initial information. In that way, when you look at the password in the um, database, even if two people have used the same password, as long as their sorts are different, it won't appear to be the same. So it gives an extra layer of protection. I'm not really explaining this too well, I know, but I'm kind of rushing. I'll leave this on the screen for a couple of seconds for you to look at in order to actually do it yourself. OK, so what do we actually have to change? Well, quite simple. We're going to use hash password over our password. So we're going to give it the plain text password, and then we're going to use a three letter sort. Now we want that to change depending on um, the username. So as long as your usernames are always going to be more than three letters, I'm going to um, allow that to, to occur. Otherwise it will cause an error if you allow less than three letters for your username. So the first three letters of the username will form the sort. And that would then be applied to the password. I'm going to show you exactly what happens to the password uh, in order for it to be saved into the database. So I'm going to put a little red line on here, so a breakpoint. So it's going to stop on this piece of code and we can actually go through what's going to happen with the hashed password. The main reason for that is because we need to grab the hashed password out and stick that in our database first of all, as you will see. So I'm going to debug the program now. And then I'm going to log in. So my username is Chris, and obviously the password is password. Hit the login button, it's going to pause on this page. So as you can see, my hash PW is going to take password as the password with the th first three letters of my username, CHR. So I'm going to run into the code. So let's find out what the sorted password looks like. Well, this is what the sorted password currently looks like. And then we're going to get the middle of the item. And there's the sorted password. So in the middle of my... Uh, password now is my three letter code as you can see. I'm then going to jump over the next few lines because this is where it actually does its business and turns it into some code. And now the output which is stored here, that is actually my new password that's now encrypted. I'm going to do quick, quick watch on that and copy the password because the problem is that isn't the password in our database at the moment. What I'm then going to do is go into my um, program so it's in Visual Studio 2010 projects contact circle at the moment. I'm going to find the database. There's the actual one that's going to be used, contact circle. Wait for it to load up. Should have had this in the background really. There we go. Go into my table login. And now where that password currently is password, I'm going to put in the encrypted one without the quotes around the outside. Oh, I've got left the quote in at that end. So now you can see my encrypted password is this random series of characters and numbers. Now it means that my password is case sensitive. It does have to have a capital P. And only the word password with the name username, uh, with the, the first three letters of the username CHR, will form that string of characters. So now we've got that changed. I can now run my program again, and it will just hopefully go straight through read the new password out the password and it's now worked. But just to check it and make sure it doesn't um, allow for lowercase password in password, that will prove our encryption's worked okay this time. I'm going to log in again, username Chris, and this time I'm going to type my password with a lowercase p. 
and you can see now it's not recognized I need to use the uppercase P for it to work which makes sense so very simple quick and easy but that is actually now saving a password as it should do uh, which is, is an encrypted format which is harder to break into if even if someone has access to the database this means if you create the program yourself and actually want to use it for a real life project you as the person who created it won't know what people's passwords are which is a good thing 